بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو بزنس اکنامکس ای سی او فور ہنڈریڈ کورس دس از یور انسٹرکٹر پروفیسر ڈاکٹر کیسر عباس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو دس کورس فرسٹ آف آل بفور گوئنگ ٹو دا کورس ڈیٹیلس آئی وڈ لائک ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی سیلف ایز یو ہیو ہرڈ دیٹ مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر کیسر عباس آئی ہیو ڈن مائی ایم ایس سی ان اکنامکس بیک ان Uh, from Kadal University Islamabad and then I have done my MPhil from the same university in 1993. After that I have joined the planning and development department government of Punjab. I worked for a couple of years there and then I got scholarship for higher studies. I went to China then I completed my China I uh, completed my PhD from China in 2000. in human resource development which is uh, the part of uh, economics uh, development economics as well as it is it comes under the business human resource management uh, after that after completing my phd i came back and joined my parent department that was planning and development department government of punjab i worked for a year or so and then i uh, applied uh, for comsats i joined comsat institute of information technology Uh, as assistant professor back in uh, 2002 since that time i am working in comsats currently i am full professor at the department of management sciences and uh, teaching different courses of economics and human resource development and research and also supervising ms phd students so this this is a brief introduction of mine and now i would like to share something about the course uh, this is uh, this as if you see the name of this course is business economics uh, business economics uh, is very important uh, uh, subject or area for businesses for managers جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں آپ ڈیلی لائف میں بہت سارے ایسے کانسیپٹس ہوتے ہیں ایسی چیزیں ہوتی ہیں جن کو آپ یوز کر رہے ہوتے ہیں اکنامکس کے کانسیپٹس ہیں جو ڈیلی لائف میں آپ یوز کر رہے ہوتے ہیں بٹ یو آر پریکٹیکلی ناٹ اویئر آف دوز تھنگس سو اکنامکس بیسیکلی از 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 اے سبجیکٹ وچ ڈیلس ود دی پریکٹیکلی پریکٹیکیبلٹی آف دی یور لائف ان ایز اے ہاؤس ہولڈ ایز اے انڈیویجول and similarly economics is all about when when we talk about the country again you look at different parameters of the economy like employment unemployment uh, growth ki baat kare poverty ki baat kare exchange rate ki baat kare balance of payment ki baat kare so all these are the concepts of macroeconomics so economics jo hai practically is a practical subject جس کو آپ ڈیلی لائف میں بھی استعمال کر سکتے ہیں کر رہے ہوتے ہیں پریکٹیکلی بٹ یو آر ناٹ ابزرونگ اٹ بیسیکلی تو دس از دس از اے سبجیکٹ ایز فار ایز بزنس از آر کنسرن ایز فار ایز مینیجر از آر کنسرن اٹس دس سبجیکٹ از ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ فار دوز پیپل ہو آر ورکنگ ان دی آرگنائزیشن ہو آر ایز اے ورکنگ ایز اے مینیجر ایز اے لیڈر آف دی آرگنائزیشن دے ہیو ٹو میک ڈفرینٹ ڈیسیجنس ان دی آرگنائزیشن سو اف دے آر اویئر اباؤٹ دی کانسیپٹ of economics so they can make um, corrective and proper decisions in the business environment so after this brief introduction of uh, the business economics or the economics uh, and myself will go to the lecture one uh, lecture one the first lecture of this course uh, will to in today's lecture we'll talk about introduction to business economics and uh, introduction to economics as well as business economics part 1 uh, uh, before going to the lecture i would like to share with you the highlights of the course and uh, what we are going to do and how we are going to run this course throughout the semesters uh, on the top if you see it's my name and then the course title is business economics and then if uh, the credit hours for this course is 3 and uh, three credits means you have to take class of this course particular course for 3 hours in the week and uh, the course code which is assigned to this course is eco 
and the main objective of the course are understanding of basic micro and macroeconomic concepts uh, which are uh, and, and their applications uh, in the business environment so this is the main objective of the course so wo, so koshish karenge ki aapko jo basic concepts hain micro ke aur macro ke bataye jaye aur unki practicality how those concepts are applicable in a business environment us pe bhi baat cheet karenge uh, now the concepts or the topics which we are going to cover in this course are like first in today's lecture we will talk about introduction to business economics and economics itself then we'll talk about uh, in, in in two or three lectures we'll talk about market forces of demand and supply so as we know that when we talk about market so market has always two sides supply and demand so these two forces interact with each other and determines equilibrium in the market right sometimes supply is more sometimes and demand is more so there are disturbances or uh, disequilibriums in the market but there are automatic forces uh, which come and which take actions and then brings the market back into equilibrium then will the related concepts with this market force is the elasticity of demand and supply which is very very important tool uh, uh, which is very important for the businesses uh, when they want to decide something about price output and and so many decisions they have to make in their business environment so they must consider or take into account the concept of elasticity right to iske bare mein baat karenge uske bare mein we'll talk about the theory of consumer choice we'll talk about what can uh, how consumer maximizes their satisfactions what are their preferences uh, and um, resources kya hain Uh, how they spend resources how they can maximize their satisfaction income ki baat karenge substitution effect ki baat karenge price effect ki baat karenge right so this all the scope of theory of consumer behavior uske baad we'll talk about the cost of production production ki baat karenge what goods are produced how these goods are produced what are the factors of productions unki baat karenge different types of production ki baat different types of products ki baat karenge and yes ma'am total product average product minimal product so many concepts in the production and then of course we'll talk about the cost of production when we'll discuss the production so it's very important to discuss the cost side also so different types of costs associated with the production process uski baat karenge unko koshish karenge aapko batane ki ke kis tarah se hum link up kar sakte hain production aur cost ko and how the businesses are the firms can maximize their profit by minimizing cost and maximizing output so is pe bhi detail se hum baat karenge ki kahan pe firms jo hai uh, is at equilibrium and where they are getting maximum level of output at the minimum cost possible cost to is pe bhi baat karenge detail mein uske baad jo hai we'll talk about uh, firms in competitive market hum bahut sare different kisam ke market structures ki baat karenge jahan pe firms ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या होता है दे सेल देयर प्रोडक्ट्स ऑन दोज मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द फॉर्म इज टू मैक्सिमाइज प्रॉफिट सो व्हेन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर्स की जब हम बात कर रहे होंगे तो यहां पे हम दो टाइम पीरियड्स की बात करेंगे शॉर्ट रन और लॉन्ग रन की बात करेंगे एंड वी विल सी दैट हाउ द फर्म्स कैन मैक्सिमाइज देयर प्रॉफिट इन द शॉर्ट रन देन हाउ दे कैन मैक्सिमाइज देयर प्रॉफिट इन द लॉन्ग रन uh under different uh, market structure like uh, perfect competition is one type of the market structure then we have the a monopolistic competition one monopoly then oligopoly under oligopoly we'll discuss uh, the example of a duopoly and uh, so these are different market structures uh, where the firms would like to sell their product and they would like to charge a price which maximizes their profit of course the ultimate goal and objective of the firm is to maximize their profit to koshish karenge aapko bataya jaye ki what are different market structures kis tarah se firms sell cheeze bechti hain kaise revenue kamate hain cost kya hoti hai profit kaise maximum hota hai to is cheez pe baat karenge we'll spend few lectures as uh, uh, we will deliver few lectures about these different market structure so this uh, will be the last 
uh, after market structure uh, so this would be the last part of microeconomics right uske baad we'll start the macroeconomic portion of this course uh, you know because business economics is a combination of both micro and macro so after discussing different concepts of microeconomics we'll go to discuss the concepts of macroeconomics macro ki jab baat karte hain to macro means at a economy level and when we talk about a nation economy as a whole uh, so the parameter which are related to economy are the uh, as a whole so unko hum macroeconomics ke context mein discuss karenge aur baat karenge अब कौन कौन से कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं जिनको हम डिस्कस करेंगे एट द मैक्रो लेवल मयरिंग नेशनल इनकम हाउ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज मैयर देयर नेशनल इनकम कैसे मैयर की जाती है नेशनल इनकम को कैसे मैयर करते हैं इसके तरीके कार पे हम देखेंगे लाइक डिफरेंट अप्रोचेज हैं लाइक इनकम अप्रोच है एक्सपेंडिचर अप्रोच है टू मैयर नेशन इनकम तो विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल्स हाउ and the national income is my and what are different types of incomes in a country like uh, gdp ki baat karenge and gnp ki baat karenge national income ki baat karenge disposable personal income ki baat karenge disposable income ki baat karenge so so many concepts under this uh, after that we'll discuss about production and growth how production and growth are related what are the factors that जिनको यूज करके आप प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं चीजों को और हाउ दिस प्रोडक्शन इज लिंक्ड अप विद ग्रोथ दो दीज टू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स विच आर इंटर कनेक्टेड प्रोडक्शन एंड ग्रोथ प्रोडक्शन जितनी ज्यादा होती है जैसे कि मैं अंदाजा है उतनी ज्यादा इकानमी में ग्रोथ होती है ग्रोथ ज्यादा होती है तो लोगों के जो हालात हैं स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग है वो बेहतर हो जाता है और वो जो काम है नेशन है वो तरक्की करती है प्रॉस्पेरिटी आती है मुल्क के अंदर उसके बाद हम बात करेंगे सेविंग्स की इन्वेस्टमेंट की बात करेंगे फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम की बात करेंगे किस तरह से फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम इज़ हेल्पफुल फॉर द सेविंग इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द इकानमी और विल टॉक अबाउट इन डिटेल अबाउट दीज पैरामीटर्स ऑफ मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स आफ्टर दैट जो हम चीज़ पढ़ेंगे इस कोर्स में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की बात करेंगे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वाट इज़ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट किस तरह से इसको मैयर कर सकते हैं और हाउ वी कैन मिनिमाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकानमी तो डिफरेंट आस्पेक्ट्स जो हैं अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट के उसको हम देखेंगे एंड देन आफ्टर दैट विल ट्राई टू लिंक अप द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विद इन्फ्लेशन बिकॉज ये कह कहा जाता है कि ये दो ऐसे कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं जो कि इनका आपस में ताल्लुक है और इन पर हम डिटेल से बात करेंगे और इसको एक्सप्लेन करेंगे कि वट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप is there between unemployment and inflation in the economy then we'll talk about money and inflation very very important concepts as far of macroeconomics um boss are economists ye kehte hain ki money supply is the cause of inflation so we'll try to see the different types of money functions of money ki baat karenge and then try to link up uh, the money with inflation and how this become a cause of inflation isme hum phir quantity theory of money ki bhi baat karenge to this is uh, all about money and inflation uske baad we'll try to discuss something about open economy so is open economy mein trade ki baat ki jayegi trade balance ki baat karenge balance of payment ki baat karenge exchange rate ki baat karenge so this would be the next uh, uh, topic of discussion in macroeconomics that is about open economy now after open economy then we'll talk about the aggregate demand and aggregate supply जैसा कि मैंने बताया एट द इंडिविजुअल लेवल एट द माइक्रो लेवल विल टॉक अबाउट द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल फॉर्म इंडिविजुअल कंज्यूमर बट व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द होल इकोनॉमी पूरी इकोनॉमी की बात जब आप करते हैं तो देन विल टॉक अबाउट एग्रीगेट डिमांड एंड एग्रीगेट सप्लाई दीज आर वेरी टू टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड दे प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू स्टेबलाइज द इकोनॉमी After that, we'll try to discuss poverty, uh, different type, how poverty is defined, uh, different uh, types of poverty, and then of course uh, the, how poverty is measured. So different measures जो हैं poverty पे उस पे बात करेंगे और किस तरह से poverty को कम किया जा सकता है. What are the factors of poverty जिनकी वजह से मुल्क में गुरबत आती है. So these are the different uh, uh, concept that we are going to learn under the macroeconomics. so in the last part of the course the third part is ki aap keh sakte hain is the economy of pakistan 
so uh, after discussing micro and all macro concepts and their application in the business environment and we'll talk about the economy of pakistan i will give you few lectures and uh, about the situation of pakistan economy since independence right so kis tarah se halat rahe pakistan mein independence se mukhtalif eras ki baat karenge aur uske baad we'll talk about different uh concepts in up in pakistan uh, with reference to pakistan economy different concept of macroeconomics with reference to pakistan economy like hum baat karenge fiscal policy ki hum baat karenge monetary policy ki pakistan ke hawale se uske baad hum baat karenge about the poverty with reference to pakistan and so on so this would be the last part of course that is about the economy of pakistan तो स्टूडेंट्स तो ये थोड़ा सा ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन है कोर्स का जो कि हम इसको चलाएंगे जो कॉन्सेप्ट हम को लर्न करेंगे इस कोर्स में सो इट्स इट्स वेरी इजी कोर्स इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट तो आपने परेशान नहीं होना जस्ट ट्राई टू लर्न ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन आई डिलीवर माय लेक्चर व्हेन आई टॉक विद यू तो जस्ट उसको गौर से सुने और फिर वही कॉन्सेप्ट अगर इफ यू गो बैक टू होम एंड देन जस्ट स्टडी दोज कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक जो कि अभी मैं बताऊंगा आपको थोड़ी देर में आप उसको पढ़ लेंगे तो देन इट्स नॉट प्रॉब्लम राइट सो यू कैन इजली अंडरस्टैंड दोज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स how will can the book which basically is recommended as a text book for the course is principle of economics and it is written by n gregory mankeef uh, so it's very famous book it's very easy book it's written in a very easy words uh, asan english use ki gayi hai aur it in this book jo iski beauty hai and there are many practical examples given uh, which are business related example so when we learn when we when you learn a concept to try to learn its application so the examples given in the book to jab aap kitab se example padhenge to then easily you can uh, understand or comprehend that particular concept so this is the main book uh, course book that which we are going to follow but as far as the lecture regarding pakistan economy is concerned so i will tell you at the end of each लेक्चर बता दूंगा कि किस सोर्स से आई हैव प्रिपेयर द लेक्चर तो उन सोर्स से आप पाकिस्तानी कानून के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन देख सकते हैं पढ़ सकते हैं एडिशनल रीडिंग इफ यू वुड लाइक टू सी सम एडिशनल रीडिंग देर आर लॉट ऑफ बुक्स ऑन इकोनॉमिक्स यू कैन रीड एनी बुक यू कैन रीड एनी कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम एनी बुक सो देर इज नो कंस्टेंट अपॉन यू कि आपने सिर्फ यही किताब पढ़नी है बट कोशिश ये करें कि जो चीज़ें हम सेक्स सीखें इस क्लास के दौरान लेक्चर्स के दौरान उनको आप Uh, किसी ना किसी बुक से जाके जरूर पढ़ लें बट इफ यू फॉलो दिस बुक बिकॉज आई एम फॉलोइंग दिस बुक सो दैट वुड बी इजी टू कम्प्रीहेंड एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट एडिशनल रीडिंग आई हैव ए बुक फॉर यू रिकमेंडेड बुक बट आप और बुक्स से भी इसकी हेल्प ले सकते हैं मैनेजरियल इकोनॉमिक्स एंड बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजी दिस इज रिटन बाय माइकल आर बे वेरी गुड बुक अगेन ए वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल बुक एंड लॉट ऑफ बिजनेस एप्लीकेशन आर गिवन इन दिस बुक तो यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक हेल्प from this book also if you cannot understand that book to bahut sare aur bhi kitabein hain economics ki jinse aap help le sakte hain the objective is to learn and understand the concept agar aapko ek dafa samajh aa jayegi then easily you can apply and transform that subject in that concept anywhere now Uh, I will would like to share with you the assessment. किस तरह से हम इस कोर्स को चलाएंगे असेस कैसे करेंगे आपकी असेसमेंट कैसे होगी देर विल बी फोर क्वेजेस द वेट इज विल बी गिवन टू द क्वेज इज टेन परसेंट तो चार क्वेज हम लेंगे आपसे जिनकी दस परसेंट वेटेज है एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस विल बी दिस क्वेज विल बी स्प्रेड ओवर द होल सेमेस्टर राइट जैसे कि सम कोर्सेज बिफोर फर्स्ट सेशनल होंगे उसके बाद टू क्वेज वन क्वीज एंड दो क्वीज फर्स्ट और सेकेंड के दरमियान और एक क्वीज जो होगा दैट वुड बी बिटवीन द सेकेंड सेशनल एंड द फाइनल एग्जाम देन विल टॉक अबाउट देन वी हैव फर्स्ट सेशनल एग्जाम फोर असाइनमेंट्स हैं आपकी जिसकी पंद्रह परसेंट वेटेज है तो असाइनमेंट्स ऑफकोर्स अगेन विल बी स्प्रेड ओवर थ्रू आउट द सेमेस्टर then first sessional exam that is schedule exams and that has 10% weightage then we have a second sessional exam again a schedule exam proper date sheet hogi aapko bataya jayega kab aapka second exam hai 
سیکنڈ سیشنل اگزام ہے اس کی ویٹیج جو ہے ففٹین پرسنٹ دس کمپرائزز اوورال ففٹی پرسنٹ آف دا مارکس سو جس میں چار کویزز ہم کریں گے چار اسائنمنٹس ہوں گی دو سیشنل کریں گے تو یہ جو سمیسٹر کے دوران آپ کی اسیسمنٹ ہوگی اس کی جو ٹوٹل پرسنٹیج ہے آف دا اسیسمنٹ از ففٹی پرسنٹ آف دا کورس اینڈ دین ریمیننگ ففٹی پرسنٹ کی جو بات کریں گے دیٹ ریمیننگ ففٹی پرسنٹ جو اسیسمنٹ ہے از دا فائنل اگزام Uh, so this was all about the course introduction and the assessment and the how we will run this course. Uh, I hope that you will know what we will do with this course, what we will do with this course, what we will do with this course, what we will do with this course. Now we will start our first lecture. Uh, so the outline of the lecture, the concepts which we are going to learn in this lecture are We'll talk about uh, the introduction to economics as in the f in the first at the first stage, and then of course uh, we'll discuss. Uh, uh, I will tell you some of the definitions of economics, uh, right? So then we'll discuss the basic ten principle of economics, जो कि आपको पता होने चाहिए, जिसकी हम बार-बार बात करेंगे अगले lectures में, अपने lectures के दौरान some ten दस principles की बात करेंगे, जो कि use होते हैं daily life में भी और اور جب ہم پورا کورس پڑھیں گے ڈیفرنٹ لیکچرز میں تو ان کی ہم بار بار بات کریں گے اینڈ لاسٹلی ول اینڈ اپ آف لیکچرز وائی مینیجرز نیڈس ٹو اسٹڈی اکنامکس کیوں آپ ایز اے بزنس اسٹوڈنٹ ہیں آپ ایم بی اے کریں آپ کو کیا ضرورت ہے اکنامکس سیکھنے کے لیے رائٹ سو ول ٹرائی ٹو ڈسکس سم آف دی ریزنس آئی ول لائک ٹو شیئر ود یو سم آف دا ریزن وائی ایز اے بزنس اسٹوڈنٹ ایز اے مینیجر یو نیڈ ٹو اسٹڈی اکنامکس سو دس از دی کورس آؤٹ لائن اور دا لیکچر آؤٹ لائن آف ٹو ڈیز کلاس Uh, first of all, I would like to share with you the evolution of economics, how economics came into existence uh, very briefly. Uh, in old, day, old days, people used the word oikonomos, which is the Greek word uh, for, uh, for the management of household affairs. سو ان اول ڈیز پرانے زمانوں میں جو ورڈ یوز کیا جاتا تھا اکنامکس کے لیے واز او اکنامکس اور دس از اے گریک ورڈ جس کی میننگ ہے مینجمنٹ آف ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئرس رائٹ نو واٹ آر دی ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئر بیسیکلی ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئر کی جب بات کرتے ہیں سو آن ون سائڈ از دی انکم آف دی ہاؤس ہولڈ آن دی ادر سائڈ ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ایکسپینڈیچر آف دی ہاؤس ہولڈ رائٹ سو واٹ آر فرام ویئر واٹ آر دا میجر سورسز آف انکم آف اے ہاؤس ہولڈ کن سورسز سے کن ذرائع سے اس ہاؤس ہولڈ کو انکم آتی ہے پیسے آتے ہیں اینڈ دین واٹ آر اٹس ایکسپینڈیچر نیسیسٹیز پہ کتنا خرچ کرتا ہے لگژریز پہ کتنا خرچ کرنا ہے سیونگ کتنی کرنی ہے فیوچر کے انویسٹمنٹ کے لیے سو آل دیز آر دی ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئرز کپڑوں پہ کتنا خرچ کرنا ہے کھانے کی چیزوں پہ کتنا خرچ کرنا ہے ٹی وی لینا ہے نہیں لینا کار خریدنی ہے نہیں خریدنی آل دیز آر دی ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئرز رائٹ سو پرانے زمانے میں اکنامکس کا نام جو تھا وہ اکنامکس تھا اور اس وقت جو ہے اٹ واز دا مین ایریا آف اور دا اسکوپ آف او اکنامکس اور اکنامکس واز دی مینجمنٹ آف ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئر ود دی پیسج آف ٹائم اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ آف سولائزیشن ایکسٹینڈیڈ او اکنامکس ٹو دی فرنٹیئر آف دا اکانومی اور دا فرنٹیئر آف دا کنٹری تو اس کا اسکوپ جو ہے بڑھایا گیا ایکسٹینڈ کیا گیا فرام ہاؤس ہولڈ ٹو to the frontier of the country, frontier of the economy and resulted it in becoming political economy which dealt with various economic affairs of the country. تو جیسے کہ سیولائزیشن میں ڈیولپمنٹ آئی اور ٹائم گزرتا گیا تو اس کا جو اسکوپ ہے اس کا بڑھایا گیا فرام دی ہاؤس ہولڈ افیئر ٹو دی فرنٹیئر آف دا کنٹری اور فرنٹیئر آف دا اکانومی اور جس کا اس وقت دا نیم گیون ٹو اکنامکس واز دی پولیٹیکل اکنامکس ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم اینڈ پولیٹیکل اکانومی مینس دا اسکوپ آف پولیٹیکل اکانومی واز ڈیلنگ ود دی افیئرز آف دا اکانومی ایز اے ہول سو رائٹ سو ول ٹاک اباؤٹ ان ڈیٹیلس واٹ آر دا افیئرز آف دا اکانومی ایز اے ہول جب میکرو اکنامکس کی بات کریں گے جیسا کہ ابھی میں نے کچھ کانسیپٹس آپ کو بتائے سو The scope was extended from the management of household affairs to the frontier of the country and uska jo naam ho gaya, the name of economics uh, uh, was, uh, was uh, the political economy uh, instead of economics. 
uh, if you remember in 1770 there was industrial revolution that took place in England uh, it gave a rise to the problems uh, many problems uh, like unemployment housing problem transport problems right so then uh, which extended political economy to economics so the name of uh, political economics was extended from political economy to economics after that revolution in England in 1770 transport issues unemployment economy housing issues and then uh, experts uh, instead of calling it political economy we will call it economics so it was extended from political economy to economics now this is how Econ economics came into existence after that different school of thought different economists have have given definitions of economics and uh, name will talk mainly talk about three school of thought ki baat karenge jinhone definitions di economics ki definition of uh, given by classical school of thought and that school of thought was led by professor adam smith uh, baad, uh, there is a second school of thought which is new classical school of thought and they have also given their own definition of economics and that school was led by professor Alfred Marshall uh, ki definition ki hum baat and then the third school of thought is the modern school of thought uh, that was led by Robbins and and they have given their own definition of economics so different school of thought have given uh, different definitions of economics so first we see that uh, what Adam Smith or the classical of thought says about economics in 1776 Adam Smith ne kitab likhi thi wealth of nation ke naam se right so wealth of nation ke naam se jo usne kitab likhi usme usne kaha ki economics jo hai is a science of wealth right so it talks about wealth so when we say any when say anything about wealth so that comes under the scope of economics usne ye kaha tha ki wealth he discussed wealth uh, from four different aspects uh, for, from four different perspective he said uh, um, it is science of wealth where we talk about production of wealth how the wealth is produced how the goods and services are produced in the country uh, what are the factors of production labor capital and organization uh, what mix of these factors of production are used to produce goods and services in the economy so Adam Smith ne ye kaha tha ke economics jo hai is a science of wealth this means production of wealth ki baat karte hain then we talk about exchange of wealth have enable society to satisfy multiple ends right jo exchange of uh, wealth hoti hai ek uh, jo hai ek one, uh, one, uh, one individual sell its product to other individual or one firm sell products in the market so exchange of wealth it satisfies different or multiple desires of the society right so exchange of wealth ki bhi usne baat ki and then he talked about the distribution of wealth how that distribute wealth is distributed fairly equally among different section of the society and then he talked about the consumption of wealth and he talked about the utility which the consumer gets from consumption of goods and services right how a consumer can maximize their satisfaction after the consumption of those goods and services which are produced by the firms or the producer in the country so Adam Smith basically he talked about he said that economics uh, is a science of is a science of wealth or production exchange distribution and consumption of wealth his definition was criticized by different economists different school of thought and they said that uh, it could it could make society uh, materialistic it can make individual greedy jab aap wealth ki baat karte hain to uh, internally har, har insaan jo hai each individual can think of that uske paas zyada daulat honi chahiye he can get maximum of the wealth or money or income to materialistic bana deti hai society ko to ye sabse bada criticism kiya gaya aur uske baad jo alfred marshall hai leader jo hai bani jo hai new school new classical school of thought ka they have given their own definition and they said in, in 1798 usne uh, defined ke economics ko as economics is a science which studies human behavior in the ordinary business of life it examines that part of individual and social action which is mostly closely connected 
uh, with phi uh, with the attainment and with the use of material requisites of well-being so basically he brings the concept of social welfare right right so he said that okay, economics as a science hai jo ki human behavior ko study karti hai uh, ek aam ordinary business life mein aur ek unke aise part ka muayna karti hai uh, jisme how it can help to increase the welfare of the society as a whole ऐसी चीज़ों की बात की ऐसी गुड्स की बात की जो कि एक सोसाइटी के एक इंडिविजुअल के वेलफेयर को बढ़ाती हैं तो उन चीज़ों को इकनॉमिक्स के स्कोप में ए, कहा कि दीज आर द थिंग्स विच मस्ट बी इंक्लूडेड इन द स्कोप ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स लेटर ऑन देयर डेफिनेशन आर हिज डेफिनेशन आर क्रिटिसाइज बाई द इकोनॉमिक्स दे सेट दैट इट लिमिट्स द स्कोप ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स एज इट लीव्स आउट नॉन मटीरियल रेकोजिट्स ऑफ वेल बींग राइट सो इसने स्कोप को लिमिट कर दिया है उसने ये कहा है इन इकोनॉमिक्स ने ये कहा है कि ऐसी अशिया को शामिल किया है जो कि मटेरियल रेकोजिट्स हैं जो कि सोसाइटी की वेलफेयर को बेहतर करती हैं नॉन मटेरियल रेकोजिट्स जो हैं या गुड्स जो हैं उसको इसने एक्सक्लूड कर दिया है अपने डेफिनेशन से बट दो गुड्स आर कंज्यूम्ड बाय द इंडिविजुअल बाय द सोसाइटी मटेरियल रेकोजिट्स विच डू नॉट प्रोवाइड आर इंक्रीज वेलफेयर आर एक्सक्लूडेड फ्राम द डेफिनेशन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्रग्स की बात करें सिगरेट्स की बात करें एंड सो मैनी अदर प्रोडक्ट्स विच वार एक्सक्लूडेड फ्राम द स्कोप ऑफ डेफिनेशन ऑफ मार्शल अबाउट इकनॉमिक्स अगेन वेलफेयर की बात की मार्शल ने यह भी क्रिटिसाइज किया गया कि वेलफेयर जो है इज नॉट ए मयरेबल कॉन्सेप्ट इसको मैयर नहीं किया जा सकता इट इज डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉब्लम इन पॉलिसी मेकिंग एज इट क्रिएट्स ए प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लाइकिंग एंड डिस लाइकिंग so basically uh, when we talk about the welfare so it, it's it's uh, then the problems come like liking or disliking ka issue aa sakta hai or and uh, it would be difficult for the policy maker to make policies to improve the welfare of the society as a whole to ye kuch aise itrazat the क्रिटिसिज्म थे जो मार्शल पे किए गए मार्शल की डेफिनेशन पे किए गए एंड देन लेटर ऑन ए न्यू डेफिनेशन केम ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड द स्कूल ऑफ थॉट व्हिच गेव दिस डेफिनेशन इज नोन एज द मॉडर्न स्कूल ऑफ थॉट और उसके जो बानी का नाम है वो है लोनियल रॉबिंस रॉबिन रॉबिंस वाज द लीडर of the basically modern school of thought and they have given their own definition of economics ye jo definition hai and this is a very uh, useful definition jitni bhi economics mein discussions hoti hain aajkal ya past mein hoti rahi hain they all talk about that definition of economics which was given by modern school of thought uh, led by uh, loniel robbins ye kya kehte hain economics ke bare mein and they said that economics is science which studies human behavior as a relationship between multiple ends and scarce means which have alternative uses so if you look at definitions ye kehte hain ki economics ek aisi science hai jo ki human behavior ko study karti hai analyze karti hai uh, as a relationship between on one side there are multiple ends multiple desires unlimited desire of the society of the individuals and then its relationship with scarce resources scarce means and on the other side uh, the resources are scarce are limited so uh, economics is a science which talk about the relationship between scarce resources scarcity of resources and unlimited means or wants or desires uh, unlimited ends desires or want so of course uh, when we talk about limited resources scarce resources they have alternative use different uses it depends on the preferences priorities of the individuals right to inhone ye kaha ki economics ek aisi science hai jo ki human behavior ko study karti hai as a relationship between multiple desires multiple ends or as scarce resources ko aur wo aise resources jinke multiple uses hote hain alternative uses hote hain so this is the definition given by robbins and his followers uh, um, uh, of it uh, merits of this definition are it is the most comprehensive definition right so it talk about resources on one side talk about desires wants and on the other side extension of scope of economic it has extended the scope of economics it has included all goods uh, whether they are material requisites or non material requisites which promote welfare not promote welfare of the society so it extended the scope of economics 
uh, analytical in nature uh, which helps in problem resolving basically and this is the definition which can help the society which can help the policy makers to solve different economic problem of course it has certain merit demerits or disadvantages he tried to make economics as a pure science where it is a social science so as if in the koshish ki economics is a pure science but it is not science it is a social science there is no touch of morality ki baat kare so they have not mentioned anything about morality he says resources are limited and does not explain how these resources can be increased right so you know ne koi aisa nahi bataya method ya tarike ka is cheez ki baat nahi ki ek side pe to wo keh rahe hain ki resources are limited but they have not said or anything about how these limited resources can be increased so these are the three basic definitions given by economist teen definitions ki humne baat ki a definition given by adam smith ki humne sabse pehle baat ki uske baad we have talked about definition given by arthur marshall new classical school of thought uske baad then we have talked about the definition of economics given by modern school of thought uh, led by लोनि रॉबिन्स उन्होंने जो डेफिनेशन थी हमने कोशिश की कि तीनों के हमने मेरिट्स डी मेरिट्स क्रिटिसिजम की बात की एंड वी केम टू द कंक्लूजन के द डेफिनेशन गिवन बाय रॉबिन्स लोनी लोनि रॉबिन्स इज द a most appropriate and comprehensive definition of economics uh, most of the people most of the economists are in favor of this definition or uh, they use this definition as, uh, in economics uh, and uh, practically it's more applicable in the country or for the economy or for the society uh now we'll talk about uh, the we'll continue with the introduction of business economics uh, ec a household and economy face many decisions and when we talk about an household when we talk about an economy when we talk about a firm they have to make a lot of decision uh, different decisions in their business environment kaun kaun se decision karne padte hain unko who will work kaun kaam karega agar household ki baat kare uh, whether how, head of the household is going to work uh, or all of them are going to work so who is going to work who is going to earn the money if we talk about economy so what uh, what should be produced what resources are there to produce different goods and services in the economy so who will work what will be the level of employment in the country so this is very important question or decision which uh, has to be made by the in households or by the policy makers what goods and services uh, how what goods and how many of them should be produced jo dusra question hai jo ke face karna padta hai household ko economy ko ke kya cheeze hain what goods should be produced and how many of or much of they should be produced what resources jo teesra important question hai jisko inko decide karna padta hai uh, what resources Uh, should be used in the production process uh, as jaisa ki hum andaaza hai ke there are different resources different factors of production jinki hum detail mein baad mein baat karenge like labor capital technology organizations entrepreneur so there are many factors of production ab uh, ek the problem which the society or the individual or the household are facing is that so what factors what resources uh, should be used to produce different goods and services in the economy what prices and the point is seen that household has to make firms has to make our economy has to make as the what price should be the charge uh, of those goods uh, from the individual and the society so these are different decisions uh, that a household or uh, the policy may or the economy has to make uh, during a particular time period Uh, when we talk about this this year of course we need to talk about the relationship between society and its scarce resources the management of society resources is important because resources are scarce so resources the management of resources is very very important because as we said that uh, in the last the last definition given by robbins that resources are limited resources are scarce so management of resources is very very important is essential uh so if we want to improve the welfare of the society so management of resources is very very important scarcity mean that society has limited resources and therefore cannot produce all goods and services people which wish to have 
So since economy, individuals, household have limited resources, all goods which the people want to purchase, want to use cannot be produced with the limited resources. Now economics basically is the, is a is is subject uh, uh, which study uh, how manages how man, how society manages its scarce resources. The economics may have just it may bad carrying a different concept key. Ye is may um decking um putting a study carrying a analyze carrying a kiss tara say a society of the scarce resources go manage karti and they try to get maximum out of those limited resources. Uh, uh, so uh, now we'll talk about the type of economics uh, as we know that uh, as I told you in the, in the introduction of the course there are two types of economics just ki hum baat karenge in the course mein micro or macro economics micro ki jab baat micro means small uh, the word micro means small so micro economics focuses on the individual parts of the economy how households and firms make decisions and how they how they interact in the mark in the specific market so this is all the scope of microeconomics jab aap uh, demand and supply ki baat karenge consumer behavior ki baat karenge market structure ki baat karenge cost and production ki baat karenge this all comes in the scope of microeconomics then will uh, second type of economics is the macroeconomics when we talk about the macroeconomics macroeconomics these when we, macro means bada big macroeconomics deal with the problem with the issues at the economy as a whole so uh, when we talk about issues like inflation unemployment poverty development growth ki baat karenge balance of payment ki baat karenge money supply ki baat karenge all these issues uh, are under the scope of macroeconomics. So micro mean microeconomics it deals with the individual society, uh, individuals, households, firms, how they make decisions about the production, about the prices, and then in macroeconomics it deals with the economy as a whole. Uh, lecture mein hum karenge. I would like to tell you uh, 10 basic principles of uh, economics which uh, we uh, use karenge in the subsequent lecture coming lectures we will use basic principles in economics we will talk about them so these are very important or basic principles uh, of economics one must has to know uh, has the knowledge of these 10 principles of economics one uh, so we have divided uh, the author or the uh, Mankeev has divided uh, the those ten principles into three main categories. One is how people make the science. So we'll discuss some of the principle under this four principle under this uh, main uh, principle of economics. Is mechar the science ki baat karenge? Then how people interact with each other? Is methin am principle discuss karenge? And the third factor just in the area you bought key the forces trend that affect how the economy as a work whole works how the economy as a whole work to us may teen principle ki baat karenge to teen areas hai yes me ham das principle ki baat karenge pehla area hai ki kis tarah se um, log decide karte hai us mein char principle dekhenge dusra area me ham how people interact with each other us mein teen principle ki baat karenge and then uh, we have the third area which is the forces and the trends that affect how the economy work as a whole works as a whole works smay teen principle ki baat karenge now how people make decisions uh, we'll discuss four principles of economics under this area people face trade off cost of something is what you give up to get it rational people think at margin people respond to incentive uh, so uh, we'll discuss all these principles in detail uh, in the coming slides. In the second area, uh, how people interact with each other, um, we'll discuss three principles. Three principles ki baat karenge. Trade can make everyone better off. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. Government can sometimes improve economic conditions, uh, economic outcomes. Right, so these are the three principles under this area. Just ki hum abhi baat karenge thodi der mein. The forces and the trends that affect how the economy as a uh, uh, as a whole works. Three principles hum isme discuss karenge. The standard of living depends on the country's production. P 
price rises when the government prints too much money. This is another principle which we will talk about. And the last principle of economics is that society faces short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. So these are the ten basic principles of economics under three main areas. So we will talk about them now. The first principle, principle number one, is that people face trade-off. To get one thing, we usually have to give up another thing, right? So this is there is a trade-off that exists uh, that uh, in in the in the society people has to face that trade-off. If अगर उनको किसी एक चीज की ज़्यादा quantity चाहिए, ज़्यादा मिक्दार चाहिए, तो उसको दूसरी चीज की उतनी मिक्दार कम करनी पड़ेगी. So people face trade-off in the society in the market. Like we, if we talk about guns versus butter, food versus clothing, like leisure time versus work. Uh, efficiency versus equity. So all these ye, jo examples hain. Ye, in, agar aap dekhe, to if one people, uh, one person, one individual has to get more of a product or good, or uh, they have to sacrifice the other thing, right? Suppose uh, if uh, I am more interested in layer, I want to spend more time in layer, so I have to sacrifice my time from my work. Some of the time from my work, right? So the, I have to make trade-off between the two things, right? So one has to uh, sacrifice or give up something in order to get one more of something, right? Uh, efficiency equity की बात करें. Efficiency means society gets the most that it can from its scarce resources. How society efficiency means how society can efficiently and optimally use or utilize its scarce resources and get maximum level of output. That is known the efficiency. Uh, that's what we mean by efficiency. When we talk about equity, equity means the benefits of those resources are distributed fairly equally among different sections or members of the society. So, when we talk about equity, how do we define equity? What kind of income is there? And the benefits that you have obtained by different from different sources are fairly and equally distributed among different sections of the society. So, that is known as the equity. That is known as the equity. So, people are looking for the most that they can get from the resources that they have. So, people are looking for the most that they can get from the resources that they have. So, people are looking for the most that they can get from the resources that they have. So, people are looking for फेस ट्रेड ऑफ सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के लोगों को ट्रेड ऑफ का सामना करना पड़ता है अगर वो इंटरेस्टेड हैं इफ दे आर इंटरेस्टेड टू गेट मोर ऑफ वन थिंग दे हैव टू बेसिकली गिव अप अनदर थिंग प्रिंसिपल टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ सम थिंग इज व्हाट यू गिव अप टू गेट इट दैट दैट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ हियर कम्स द कांसेप्ट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट एंड द सीएम रिक्वायर्स कंपेयरिंग कॉस्ट एंड बेनिफिट्स Like, for example, whether to go to college or to work, whether the study, whether to study or go out for shopping, whether to go for to class or sleep in, the opportunity cost of an item is what you gave up to obtain that item, right? So, what you are sacrificing to get something is the opportunity cost of that particular item. Suppose, if you say that if you go to class and you sleep in class, so what you are sacrificing basically, what you cost which you are bearing is that you are missing your class, you are not going to your class. So that is the cost which you are bearing. So that is known as the opportunity cost. So this is the second principle of economics. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. And the third principle of economics is the rational people think at margin, right? So marginal changes are incremental or small, but very very important, right? So people think, our society thinks at the individual think at the margin. So they compare the marginal benefits and marginal cost, right? So and then they make decisions. So if in uh, at the individual level, at the firm level. Uh, at the society level, so they compare the marginal benefits, marginal cost, and then they make decisions. So people are rational; they think at marginal and uh, incremental uh, adjustment to an existing act plan of actions, and then they make different decisions in the business environment. So this is the third principle of economics. Fourth principle of economics is people response to incentive. Uh, marginal benefits and uh, marginal changes in cost and benefits motivate people to respond. So whenever there is change in marginal benefits, change in marginal cost, basically that uh, is, uh, basically motivates the individuals or the firms to respond. Like the seeing to choose an alternative over another occurs when. That alternative is uh, that, that alternative's marginal benefit is greater than marginal cost. So people compare marginal benefits and marginal cost. When marginal benefits is greater than marginal cost, 
of course they will make the scene and they will choose that alternative right so uh, the benefits and the cost marginal benefits the cost basically basically this give us this gives the motivation to an individual to choose uh, among different alternatives so people respond to incentives right so if they have more incentive if they are getting more benefits mild benefits of course than cost they respond uh, to the action plan so this is principle four uh, principle five trade can make everyone better off right so people gain from their ability to trade with one another so very very important Competition results in gain from trading. Trade allows people to specialize in what they do best. So people, our society, or the country can be better off by trading with one another. Trading one one in, from one in city to other city, train, trading between the countries. In this way, they can minimize cost. They can specialize uh, in their production, right? So. ट्रेड कैन मेक एवरी वन बेटर ऑफ सो इसमें जब हम ट्रेड की बात करेंगे जब हम अगले लेक्चर में बात करेंगे हम दो थ्योरीज की बात करेंगे एब्सल्यूट थ्योरी एब्सल्यूट एडवांटेज थ्योरी एंड कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज थ्योरी राइट तो जिसमें ये कहा जाता है कि ऐसे ममालिक ऐसे कंट्रीज जिनको एब्सल्यूट एडवांटेज है कुछ चीज़ों को प्रोड्यूस करने में उनमें स्पेशलाइजेशन कर लेते हैं एंड इम्पोर्ट अदर थिंग्स फ्राम द अदर कंट्री राइट सिमिलरली द अदर कंट्री कैन ऑल्सो स्पेशलाइज इन इट्स प्रोडक्ट इन विच इट हैज एब्सल्यूट एडवांटेज right so uh, trade can makes countries better off individuals better off uh, by specializing in uh, producing goods and services and minimizing cost so this is the fifth principle or basic principle of economics principle 6 ki jab aap baat karte hain markets are usually a good way to organize an economic activity so a market economy is an economy that allocate resources through these decentralized decisions of many firms and households as they interact in the market for goods and services because uh, household decide what to buy and who who to work for firms uh, decide who to hire and what to produce right so all this activity about the firm uh, individuals about the household about the firms takes place in the market right so we so we have to market economy has very important role in economics right so uh, where all economic activity takes place buying and selling of a product buying and selling of individual hiring of an individual uh, and so societies has to make different decisions and household has to make decision regarding their what to buy and to work who to work and the how firm has to make decision regarding uh, who to hire and what to produce right so and uh, this all act activity economic activity takes place in an economy in market economy in a market so markets are usually a good way to organize an economic activity in the economy so this is the sixth principle as uh, principle seven government can sometime improve market outcomes so sometimes market failures jisme uh, hum market failures kar jati hai सप्लाई बढ़ जाती है डिमांड कम हो जाती है डिमांड बढ़ जाती है सप्लाई कम हो जाती है मार्केट फेल हो जाती है मार्केट इज इन डिसम तो गवर्नमेंट जो है वहाँ पे एक्टिवली अपना रोल अदा करती है रोल प्ले करती है एंड ट्राई टू डिटर्म दिलीब्रियम इन द मार्केट बाई इंट्रोड्यूसिंग डिफरेंट पॉलिसी पॉलिसीज इन द कंट्री राइट लाइक if we uh, price ceiling price flooring ki hum baat karenge baad mein so government can introduce uh, different policies to bring equilibrium in the market and principle number 8 the standard of living depends on country's production so uh, what is the standard of living what should individual and society is getting it all depends on the level of production of the country how much is produced in the country or in the economy what is the level of output what is gdp right so standard of living of a country is a uh, individual depends on the country's production right so here we compare personal income disposable personal income we'll talk about per capita income so almost all variation living standard are explained by differences in countries productivity is right productivity is very very important to jab hum standard of living ko compare karte hain among the countries among different countries to usme hum ye baat kar rahe hote hain ke we are looking at the 
production capabilities and the level of production in different countries. The countries which have higher production, higher GDP growth, uh, of course, uh, the level of the standard of living of those uh, people in that country is higher as compared to the countries where production is low uh, or the things are uh, producing at the low level. Principle number nine, price rises when the government prints too much money. So this is another important principle. This ki hum detail mein baad mein baat karenge. Case mein ye kaha jata hai ke economist says that if the government prints too much money, if the supply of money will increase in the economy, zyada narrow circulation karein economy mein, to what will happen? That there will be in inflation in the country and the economy prices badhna shuru kar jati hai, right? So one of the major cause of inflation in the economy is the growth of quantity of money and the growth of money supply in the country, right? So money supply badhti hai, inflation ho jata hai, money supply kam hoti hai, inflation kam ho jata hai. To is mein jab detail mein jab hum ek lecture inflation pe baat karenge, to hum dekhenge money supply ki quantity theory of money jo hai, Milton Friedman ne di thi and he said that money supply is the main cause of inflation right so that uh, that is another principle of economics this may kaha jata hai ke if the government prints too much money prices will rise and the last principle of economics or the basic principle of economics is that society face trade off between inflation and unemployment and in this regard, we'll talk about Phillips curve in detail later on. Phillips ye kata hai that there is a trade-off that exists between inflation and unemployment. And it is a short-run trade-off. And what is that trade-off? If prices goes up, unemployment come ho jati hai. Why? Uh, an increase in prices, there is incentive for the producers uh, to produce more in the country. So they produce more, they supply more, and then of course uh, it, 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 it increases the level of employment in the country or in the economy. More people will be hired, right? So unemployment satisfies face trade off between inflation and unemployment. So these are the sum of the basic 10 principles which we have talked about now. And this is the SAS rule, this is the SAS principle which we will use in the course and utilize it. Now we will come to the last part of today's lecture and that is about why manager, as a manager, why as a businessman need to study economics. This is very very important to know as a business student because you are MBA, you are a business student, you are going to become a manager, you are going to become a businessman, you must know that how economics is important to study and how economics is helpful in business or uh, in, uh, in a business environment. Now, uh, as a manager, if you have no economics, if you are uh, informed about, if you are uh, aware about the concepts of economics, one of the reason is that you can make informed and rational decisions, right? So economics is a tool, is a subject, uh, which can help the businesses, which can help the manager to make uh, a rational and informed correct decision, right? So uh, that is very important, one of the reasons of uh, studying economics. Second uh, reason of is better policy making. It is useful tool, it is useful subject as economy as a whole for the policy maker. So it helps the government to make different policy, right? So, uh, like uh, if we talk about at the uh, national level, so government has to make different decisions. They have to make policies about different parameters of the economy, like and uh, they have to decide how much money should be printed, what should be the level of prices in the country, what should be the level of employment, unemployment in the economy, how poverty can be reduced, how unemployment can be reduced, uh, how they can improve the balance of payment, a position in the country or in the economy, how budget uh, deficit can be improved, right? So what are what tech, what kind of taxes government should introduce? So they have to make a lot of decisions. Uh, so it, if 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 the policymaker, if the people sitting in the government, if the people sitting in the offices of the government, if they know economics, of course this will help them in making a better policy for the country for the economy.
enhancement of analytical skill it enhances the uh, analytical skills of the individuals uh, uh, the firms if they know economics if they know concept of economics they can analyze the situation in a better way as compared to as a layman right so as economist jo aap ek situation ko economy ko soch sakte hain and aap uska analysis uska analysis kar sakte hain and then of course uske liye myers advise kar sakte hain suggest kar sakte hain that must be, that 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 must be better than a person who does not know economics right so analytical skills jo hain isse insaan ki iske individuals ki aur economists ki policy maker ki behtar ho jati hain not limit to profit maximize making firms and organizations as we know that the objective of each of the firm is to maximize profit so if you know the concept of economics uh, economics concepts of economics in detail if, if you have an idea you have learned the concept of economics so you cannot limit only uh, it uh, to the profit maximizing but of course you can it can you can extend the scope of economics uh, to other social or welfare of the society also uh, this is uh, this is another area another reason of uh, knowing economics right so optimum utilization of resources a very very important uh, area important reasons of studying or knowing economics and uh, that if uh, people uh, if as a manager uh, or the people sitting in the government knows economics they can use their resources efficiently optimally and they can produce maximum level of output optimum level of output of course if uh, maximum level of output is produced uh in the country resources are used optimally uh, it will help to raise the standard of living of the society to logo ka standard of living behtar ho jata hai improve kar jata hai and economy there is there, there will be prosperity in the country and the economy so these are some of the major reason iske ilawa bhi bahut sari reasons ho sakti hain uh, aap khud bhi isme kuch soch ke isme add kar sakte hain but these in my view and my opinion these are some of the main reasons of uh, studying economics ye manager ko kyun economics padhni chahiye business student ko kyun economics padhni hai business ko kyun economics ka pata hona chahiye because it helps in making informed and rational decision as we discussed better policy making mein madad mar deti hai economics it helps in enhancing of analytical skills of the individuals and the people sitting in the government it it is not then it it does not limit the scope up to only profit makings uh, and uh, of the firms and the organization but it extended the scope to the other programs or welfare of the society also and then it also helps the society it also help the country in optimize optimum utilization of scarce or limited resources of the society how limited resources uh, can be optimally utilized in maximizing uh, productivity of the country and productivity of the economy so these are some of the major reasons concerns that uh, tells us that why a manager or a businessman as an individual we need to know the concepts of economic we need to study economics so students this is all about today's lecture i just briefly summarize uh, for in few minutes what we have learned today so uh, in the beginning i just brief you up about the course contents the core concepts that we are going to cover in this course business economics course jisme maine aapko bataya it has three parts teen parts in this course ke microeconomics ki baat karenge pehle hisse mein jisme hum chand microeconomics ke concepts jo hain wo sikhenge like supply and demand ki baat karenge प्रोडक्शन की बात करेंगे कॉस्ट की बात करेंगे इलास्टिसिटी की बात करेंगे विल टॉक अबाउट द मार्क स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स जैसा कि मैंने आपको बताया द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स डील्स विद द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स पार्ट और जैन जिसमें हम डिस्कस करेंगे डिफरेंट ऑस्पेक्ट ऑफ एन इकोनॉमी डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ इकोनॉमी लाइक विल टॉक अबाउट नेशन इनकम विल टॉक अबाउट पॉवर्टी प्रोडक्शन एंड ग्रोथ की बात करेंगे देन विल टॉक अबाउट द एम्प्लॉयमेंट uh, की बात करेंगे मनी सप्लाई की बात करेंगे इन्फ्लेशन की बात करेंगे एंड देन विल टॉक अबाउट द पॉवर्टी और ग्रोथ की बात करेंगे एंड देन फाइनली विल टॉक अबाउट द 
how country can maximize their production output to maximize uh, to to improve the welfare of their society uh, and the third part of the course just like many of you have told is uh, about the Pakistan economy so just me I'm kosher again I will tell you different issues of Pakistan economy and and uh, what was the state of affair of Pakistan economy uh, since its independence 1947 ki or monetary fiscal policy balance of payment and different parameters of Pakistan economy ki baat karenge, tisre isse mein. and then we have discussed about the conduct of the course kis tarah se hum isko chalayenge, kis tarah se assessment karenge. and then after that uh, we started to discuss the today's lecture yes me hamne baat ki beginning me shuru me hamne baat ki uh, i told you i briefed you about the scope of economics uh, what is economics all about how it came into existence uski hamne baat ki and then we have talked about different definitions of economics given by different school of thought uh, uh, uh timings made different school of thought and economics ki definition the uh, uski bare mein humne baat ki and then uh, we have talked about the principles of economics uh, why what are the basic or the fundamental principles of economics this may have nika ki hamne teen categories made principle code is in code uh, divide ki hai. Uh, how people make decision people have to make different decision face trade off and making decisions and then uh, face trade off usme hum uske baad maine kaha how people interact with each other usme humne teen principles ki baat ki and then the last category uh, of the principles of economics was the forces trends that affect the economy as a whole uh, uske humne teen principles ki baat ki so uh, we have learned the basic are the fundamental 10 principles of economics the essay school and as a principles hai, uh, which are the foundation of economics or again you have lectures but in um, about micro and macro economics different issues ke you keep in this environment important hai, uh, wahan pe, um, we'll talk about uh, these principles and in the last and at the end we have learned and this amnesika about why managers need to study economics and we have discussed different reasons of uh, knowing economics studying economics uh, as a business student as a manager because we need to make different decisions in the organizations uh, we are involved in policy making as a manager as a, a businesses and then decisions can the policies banani hoti hai uh, we different situations to analyze karna hota hai. economics we have tools hai, aise tools that we have to analyze a situation ko, a crisis ko critically analyze kar sakte hai, asani se. Isi tarah, uh, it, it, it extends the scope up to the welfare of the society and it also tells us how as a society as an individual as a country as a nation how we can optimally utilize all our resources uh, optimally utilize the limited resources and maximize production in the country in the economy so this is all about students uh, I will end up my first lecture uh, so this was just an introductory lecture uh, about the economics and about the course uh, I hope ke aap, uh, you will go with me or I will try to uh, I will try to make you understand all the concepts and uh, that we are going to learn in the few coming lectures to koi ghabrane ki zarurat nahi hai and jo bhi hum cheez padhenge aap usko ja ke kitab mein pad lenge and i hope you will completely understand those concepts so this is all about i stop my today's lecture here inshallah uh, next time aap se mulaqat karenge uh, till the next time we'll see uh, god bless you allah hafiz